What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting episode. I made it out to Lake of the Ozarks, and I found a special friend of the channel. If you guys remember back to my, my tournament, uh, state championship tournament, earlier this summer, uh, my boat broke down after day one. I was in like second or third place, and then I met an MFer right here, Big Bad Brad, and he's like, dude, you can just use my boat the second day for the tournament. I was like, no, I'm not gonna use your boat the second day. He's like, no, you're gonna use the boat the second day. I was like, okay, fine, I'll use your boat. Went out the rest is history, won the tournament. Well, now we're taking out Brad and, and, and we're at Lake of the Ozarks. You've been sticking them lately out here. Yeah, when it doesn't matter though, tournament day comes around, the big fish seem to leave and you know how it goes. Exactly. We're not fishing a tournament today though. We're out doing some fun fishing and we got a couple hours this afternoon and we got some we got some natural refreshments just in case we might get thirsty. So we better get the boat launched, get out there, and start sticking some biggins. Hey, babe. Hey, at least get into the boat. Wow, that's yeah. tiny. Tank. Dude, that's rare to catch one that small. It takes skill to catch a little one it, like that. It really does. All right. Skunks out, Brad. One to nothing. Stop dicking around with this this blade bait and throw my tube since I don't fish anything else. I was so we nervous. were there like the day they shut it down. Oh, and I was... There's one. There we go. Not a bad one either. Not a good one. I'm trying to, Brad. Giant! Hey, they're growing. They're literally getting bigger every single fish. Barely, but enough. Yep, that's my PB, dude. That's my biggest one ever that I've caught with you. Yep. New personal best fishing with Brad. New video title. Fix your sinking one. Nope. Damn it. I went to oh, that's a fish. I'll set the hook on him. I thought my tube was screwed up, Brad. I got something's wrong with my rod. I'm not used to it being bent. We weren't kidding. There are fish in this lake. I was starting to wonder at the first spot. No, I wasn't. I missed two fish. Well, we, we haven't caught a big one yet, but um, fish. Yeah. Oh, peckerhead. Maybe. I told you the tube works, Brad. I wasn't kidding. That was a better one. A little fat guy. He felt small when he bit. Yep, they're growing. Every fish has gotten bigger than the one before it. Stop, Maybe. Three Next stop, three pounder. We're at two and a half. We're gonna keep growing. Last fish of the day is gonna be a 13. No, I do not throw anything else. There you go. On the rig. That's keeper for sure. Brad and his rig. Oh goodness, the rig. Cheating. That one doesn't count though, because you got too many baits on it. Yeah. It's only half a point. Illegal. You subtract half a point per bait. Well, I, guess I, don't I like it. Point. No points. Good work, Brad. They're growing. <laughs> They're all growing. It's about to happen. Damn it, Brad. Oh, goodness. You're going the wrong direction, though, dude. Seriously. You got one? spot huh well, they're eating the rig maybe i need to put some smaller baits on big girls like potato chips too potato chips i like it on the jerk bait look at this guy jerking bait okay mixing it up Ah, there is a fish here. Not a big one. Babies. Look at that. We just had to go somewhere we didn't know there'd be fish. <coughs> oh, it's a large mouth. Trying to rain here. It's like a snake. <laughs> Brad just lost one and it ate all three tails. That's. I, I, mean, I don't that think that's ever happened in fishing before. Just one ate all three. That was right there. Like I know. They were just I saw them flash. That is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Like one would make sense. That happened to me this morning. <coughs> I got one bit off. That is weird. 
one swipe. Well, guys, been fishing for a couple hours now. Bradley has been smoking them back there on the Alabama rig, and I've been kind of catching them on the tube, too. He's got some on the jerk bait. So, you know, typical Ozarks winter, fall. I, it's not a full on winter pattern. The water is about 45 to 47 degrees. So, it's not super, super cold yet. Not super warm either though, but we're fishing a lot of the stuff that looks the same. We're getting bit on a lot of stuff that looks the same. And that is stuff like this. We got a big secondary point right here behind us and we're looking for one thing specifically and that is wind on secondary points. Dragging the tube out deep. Brad's been throwing the A-Rig and I've been kind of surprised uh, watching the master at work here. He's throwing it way up on the bank, actually catching them super, super shallow on and not dragging it out deep, kind of like we, we've done a little bit in the past. But uh, yeah, we're, we're catching a lot of fish. Haven't caught a giant yet, having a good time though. Uh, a lot of two pounders, but we're gonna hit a couple spots. We got a little bit of daylight left before we go in to uh, hopefully catch uh, some, some better quality ones. And, and I don't know, we might catch a big one mixed in with the small ones. Who freaking knows, we're having a good time. Drinking some natties and uh, we're about to light it up. Place called Tombstone Tackle in Columbia. Lots of small ones. Oh big God, one. I did it now. I paid the toll. Drummer boy. Paid the drum toll. God, look how gross it is. Yuck. Brad, take it off the hook for me. People always tell me on my channel I need to do a catch and cook with drum. You need to eat them. They're actually doing How the hell am I going to fillet that? Yeah. You, I mean, just, ugh. Mr. Alabama rig. It's all he throws. That is it. That is it. There's definitely a lot of fish in this lake. We're looking for bigs now, though. Oh, dude, I totally lied. That's the rope swing right there. That was in the wrong creek. Really? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. What the hell, Cheating. Brad? Cheating. I'm gonna throw a cast net out there. It's the yeah. Same thing, dickhead. Chandelier. The old chandelier. You just, that one was just sitting there. You snagged him. You didn't catch him. Uh-huh. True. You're like, you're a lot than the yeah. There's a couple. There's one. It does exist, Brad. I told you it's a real thing. Yeah. Bad one. Yeah. Abalama rig. Yeah, cut my line, will you? Cut my line. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're improving. Oh, look which one he got too, Mr. Chartreuse. Yep, we were just talking about it. Yep. That makes our limit to about eight and a half pounds. Mr. Yeah, dude, we're uh, we're really sacking them today. Hey, we're one big bite. Hey, look, you even fish behind somebody. I did. Yeah, we got a cigarette butt in the water. Good call, Brad. That's, not That's uh, <coughs> really picking up on keys. Cigarette butt that dude was in the middle of nowhere. Hey, my first Bama rig fish of the day, though. Probably for a long time, actually. I don't think I've caught one since it's unfortunate that last I, winter. I really enjoy the Alabama <coughs> bite. Yeah, dude, that thing just like stopped it. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, that's a giant, dude. I'm talking about a big one. Whoa, he's jumping. Out of control. Bert. Is it even? I don't even know what that is. I think it's a snakehead. Nope, it's a bass. It's just there, it's big now. You gotta hold it close to the camera. Yeah. I haven't had a bite in a long time. I feel better now. Oh. I should set the hook on that one. Too bad. Not too good. Oh, yeah. It's a keeper. Well, we Aren't got rid of our two spots now. We have, yeah. We're up to a nine pound limit. That's Thick one. Five pounder is going to put us over. I don't know what's going to put us over. It was just going to. See, that's what I'm talking about. You need it to, like, these are somehow hooked together. I don't even know how. That's when they start biting it. Yeah. No. Yes, maybe. It's a fish, so. That's a better one. Oh, yeah. Jump! Jump! Nice man. That's a better one. That's the best one we've caught probably. Little tube fish. What do you know? Catching them on the tube. Yeah, it is. It's a fat one. The heavy, 
heavy, heavy fish. What's that? Yeah, it is. Three and a half, probably. Whoops. We burned him for tournament day. They're built like ridiculous. They're so broad this time of year. Love it. Winter fish. Okay, MFers, as you guys can see, I am back in town. Back home, back from doing some awesome Ozarks fishing. So good to scratch the itch doing some open water fishing. And of course, awesome to get out with one of the realest MFers. It did me one of the biggest favors um, that I've had in my life, of course, and that is providing his boat for me the second day of that tournament, which allowed me to win the state tournament this last summer. So Brad, not only a, uh, a really generous guy, also a really great fisherman, great time to have him in the boat. You'll be seeing more Brad moving forward. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know if you want to see more open water videos. You like when I kind of break things up in the winter from the ice fishing stuff. I personally love it because ice fishing is super, super fun to me. Um, but especially after the recent accident, it, it doesn't really hurt me to go do some open water fishing. Feel a little bit more safe, a little bit more of my element. Also, of course, I want to uh, tell you guys happy holidays. Whatever holiday it is you celebrate, I hope you get to spend it with your family or your most important people in your life, whoever's close to you. I will be getting back out on the ice the next couple days this week. Then I'm heading out of town for a little family vacation and I'm back to the grind. Um, probably doing some more ice fishing videos then as well when I get back. Got a couple trips planned. Gonna be busy, gonna be all over the place, and I uh, will be announcing the winner um, of the trip giveaway with me very, very soon. So I apologize it's taken so long, but I'll let you guys know that's coming very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Catch you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't stop with the love